Hey everyone, it's Honda Nguyen. How's everyone all doing today? Alright guys, so today this video is going to be focusing on the Sprint Flex Lease. Okay, so uh, this video is going to be uh, mainly um, talking about that and for current Sprint customer. Okay, so if you guys are still on the uh, Sprint Flex Lease, this video is for you. Alright. So I have a lot of uh, my friends and family here uh, curious or wondering what the uh, you know what they need to do um, about this uh, the flex lease like uh, how can they buy out the phone or um, what's their options okay so uh, I did a video about uh, this uh, uh, flex lease um, a couple months back all right guys so if you guys haven't watched that video go back to that uh, that video and watch it but there. A little bit of changes on the new uh, Sprint Flex lease because, as you guys already know, uh, T-Mobile and Sprint has merged, so they changed a little bit, of, uh, you know, a little bit on the Flex lease. So I want to go over it today so you guys can understand uh, what your options are after the 18 months uh, Flex lease or even after the 12 months, so you can upgrade early. Okay, all right. So right now I'm actually on the Sprint website. Uh, you guys can just go ahead and um, type in Sprint.com and it's going to lead you to the front page. And then go to search and just put uh, Flex Lease Agreement and it's going to pop to this page right here. Uh, but I will leave the link in the description box on this, basically the, this link right here you guys can see. I'm going to leave it in the description box so that way you guys don't have to go searching around. You guys just All you guys got to do is just um, click on it and it will lead you to this page. Okay. All right, so basically this page is a uh, search, and you know, basically it's um, the page where it has a lot of questions and answer about the flex lease. Okay, so right here you guys can see it says, what is flex lease and how does it work? Okay, I'm sure a lot of you guys know what it is and how it works, but there are still 50% of you guys don't know what it is. You know, sometimes we go in and we buy a phone and then, you know, we walk out and we don't even know that we're either on an installment or on a lease, right? So we just basically just take the phone and go home and then find out that we're on a flex lease and uh, don't know anything about it. All right, but uh, the good thing about it is that, you know, you can, it's a lot, very flexible. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and read this for you. So it says here, with flex lease, Sprint owns the phone. You lease it with affordable monthly payments. And at the end of your agreement, your options are, so you got four options, okay, guys, four options. First option, upgrade it. Second option, own it by paying the remaining balance, either in one payment or in nine monthly installment payment, okay? So this is, here's a one change right here, guys. Before T-Mobile and Sprint merge, they allow you to do six months after the lease to purchase out the phone, purchase out the phone in monthly installment. Um, but they change it to nine months, okay? I mean, it's not a bad thing because when you get nine months, your payment is lower. So it's actually would be better than, uh, you know, we'd be better for most of us if we don't have the money, you know, to pay the higher down, uh, higher payment each month. So they, um, they basically divide it out in nine months. So the payment is lower on the phone okay so that's the main difference right there you get nine months instead of six months and then option three is continue leasing month to month and remember guys these payments do not apply to the purchase of the phone okay so if you don't initiate the buyout you're going to be renting the phone month to month forever okay and it doesn't apply the payment that you basically pay every single month does not apply to the phone so that means if you don't initiate it after nine months, you're you still owe money on the you know the remaining balance. Okay, so make sure to initiate the buyout so that way uh, after the nine months the phone is paid off, or after the eighteen months. Okay, after the eighteen months, if you don't like the phone or you don't want to buy out the phone or anything like that, you can just return it in good condition, and you walk away. Okay, and you don't have to owe any more money on the phone. All right, so it says here, Flex Lease has a low out-of-pocket cost and an annual upgrade option. 
And then they have some little prints here on some states here that uh, some of these options uh, you cannot do. But, you know, you, you can go to this page, like I said, uh, and then you can read this. Okay, there are some states in the, in the United States that uh, you have to follow. You know, basically they have a small uh, restriction on the bottom here or fine prints. So make sure to read that. Okay, but most of the states you can you can basically do these four options, which is pretty good. I mean, in my opinion, I like it. I do I do the flex lease on all my phones every single year because every year, uh, 12 months, you get to upgrade it and you get to enjoy a new phone. Just return the old phone and you're done. You're not obligated to uh, finalize the payment or you're not obligated to keep the phone forever. If you, I mean, what if you don't like it, right? What if that the phone that came out that year wasn't uh, something that you like? So, you know, it's a good thing to, to be able to return it and upgrade it to another one. All right, so... I'm not going to read all of these questions, but I want to go over a few of them, which is um, that I think is important. OK, so let's go here has you guys can read these questions here and then just click on the plus sign and it's going to give you more in detail. So this one is how do I know if I'm on a flex lease? OK, you don't know. Just look at your contract. You don't know. Usually I'll say lease 18 months then you know right away. But if you have an installment, it'll say 24 months. OK. All right, and then let's see here. So what happens when my lease ends is the same thing, you know. You, we already read the top part. That's how they give you four options. And then can I own my phone after my agreement ends? Same thing. Yes, you can. You got nine months to pay it off, or you can pay one lump sum, like what we read earlier. Do I have to return my phone after my agreement ends? So you don't have to, okay? Like you, like we read earlier again. You don't have to return it. You can buy it out. And then what option if my lease phone is damaged? If it's damaged, you know, and you have insurance, let them fix it. If it's a front screen, uh, normally Sprint will fix it for you, okay, with a small fee, and then you can return it. Or you can just buy it out and not worry about fixing it. And then it says, why am I charged for a phone number I transfer to another carrier or for, uh, basically, or for a line I cancel? This question and this question is very similar. Why am I still being charged after I've transferred my entire account to another carrier or cancel my entire account? So let's read what they put here. It says when you transfer your account to another carrier or cancel it, there were still active leases for the phones. Your agreement requires you to pay all remaining lease charge. Contact us to discuss your option. Okay, so basically you're still going to be charged if you still have a lease and if you still have a balance on your phone, okay? So whenever you guys cancel a line or if you guys are going to cancel the whole account, make sure your lease is done and that, you know, you return the phone or you buy out the phone. Uh, that way you don't get charged anymore, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it on a, uh, you know, the Sprint Flex lease. The only difference that uh, T-Mobile has changed was the... Uh, six months you know buyout before now they change it to nine months and that's basically the main the main um thing that i would say is is um pretty new uh on the sprint flex lease otherwise everything else is the same okay guys so like i said i'm gonna leave the link in the description box uh on this page here again so if you guys still have questions uh, you guys can refer to this page or you guys can leave your uh questions in the comment section or if you guys have any feedback go ahead and leave them uh, in the comment section as well okay all right guys if you guys have any questions or comment leave them down below uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel yet uh, make sure to subscribe okay because i'm gonna have more videos either on sprint or t-mobile or even on a bunch of other stuff um, subscribe and tap in the bell so that way you don't miss out the next video all right guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video take care bye bye